this is Greta Campagnolo and Lisa Burnham, and we are here doing our live hangout assignment with the Superwoman Elite Boot Camp. And uh, today, Lisa will be sharing um, an important feature of Hootsuite that can help you to automate your Facebook posts. So take it away, Lisa. Hi, guys. Thank you so much, Greta. That was a nice introduction. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to share my screen in a minute, but I just wanted to um, do a, a little intro about what we're going to do. So I'm going to show you my Hootsuite um, account, and I'm going to show you a couple things in there. One is going to be how to bring multiple streams into your Hootsuite dashboard so that you can have the ability to uh, kind of move in and out of uh, your groups and your pages without having to switch accounts all the time. It's really helpful. And another thing I'm going to show you is how to do an automatic posting. Um, and we're going to share the screen and you're going to be able to see me as well because I've got my other uh, video thing on. But when I write now, before I jump onto Hootsuite, I wanted to just explain a couple things about Facebook groups on Facebook. A um, couple of tidbits. One is that you guys may not know this, but you are allowed to join up to 300 groups at one time, which means that you can actually be posting in these groups um, as much as you want, depending on what the group rules are. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that before I jump onto Hootsuite. Because what happens is every group has uh, rules. And if you break the rules, well, guess what? You get kicked out of the group, and then they won't let you post anymore. So uh, I'm going to share my screen. I just wanted to show you um, one of the organizational tricks that I do to keep track of my um, my, there we are, coming to you. So keep track of the groups that you're in. Now, can you see my screen, Greta? Yes, I can. Okay, so you can see my page. This is, so this, uh, what you're looking at right now is all the groups, because it's on my account, all the groups that I am currently in. It's nowhere near 200, 300 quite yet. Actually, I haven't counted. But all these different groups have rules. So we're just going to go to one randomly, Empower Syndication via Tribe Pro. Now I'm not going to get into anything other than what the group is dedicated to. So I go to the About and I'm going to read that and I'm going to find out what the rules are and you can see right here, rules are simple. Keep the posts only to Empower Blogs and try to keep the syndication within Tribe Pro. So now this Tribe Pro stuff I'm not going to get into, but it doesn't apply to me right now because I don't have Tribe Pro. And so I'm going to say to myself, well, you know what? This isn't a good group for me right now because I'm not really um, uh, dealing with Tribe Pro, which is a, um, a paid for syndication platform. Uh, here's another one. And just to give you examples of different um, rules within the groups, no porn, no no racist, no bad words in this one, but we are allowed to promote your online business. So that's a good thing to know. And that gets into my little organizational skill here. Now, I just also want to scroll down and I want to just get a sense, <coughs> excuse me, of what kind of posting people are doing. So I can see that this is a sign up page. I can see that this is a pure leverage person. I can go down here and I can see that somebody is just promoting a link they don't even want to, really want to tell. So I can tell right now it's okay to post affiliate links in here. Now, this is the way that I keep myself organized. I have a document in Google Drive. I have many documents in Google Drive. What I've done is I've created a file called Facebook. And within that file, I have created, here I am, I've created a um, list, a group of lists. And what I've done is I've separated the different kinds of Facebook groups that I'm allowed to post and what I'm allowed to post. So here is my Facebook groups that I am allowed to add postings, which means I can add these affiliate links and any kind of ad ads. And here's the list of those. Now what's cool about Google Drive, you guys, if I click on this, it actually gives me the link and it lets me go directly to that group so that I don't really have to do a lot of back and forth. I just can 
do it right from my list. Okay, so let's get to Hootsuite. And this is really important because, again, like I said, the groups do not like it when you break the rules. And when you start adding affiliate uh, links to groups such as our wonderful TMA, Super Women of TMA group, there are no, there's no spamming here, there's no links, there's not even any um, uh, blog posts unless it's under the appropriate stream. So every group has rules and this is really important. Also all the groups have files and these are really good to know about too because there's some there's some gold nuggets within those files that a lot of times you guys um, can find really cool things to know about. All right, so we're going to go over to my Hootsuite account. Now, I'm going to cover my face up so you guys can see it all the way. Okay, so in Hootsuite, basically, you propagate it with all of your social networks that you, that you have. Um, and I'm going to just show you my account has, well, I was just trying to change my, my um, Twitter account. Actually, that's probably where I can do it. Now all of these are groups, okay? So, and then up here is my main Facebook account, my main LinkedIn account. I've got one of my pages, okay? I've got another page, I've got another page, and another page, so I've got four Facebook pages. And then all these are groups, okay? So um, you just follow the instructions on bringing in your different streams, and that's, that's it's really easy. So then when I go back to my dashboard, you can see that when I click on my Facebook account, that is going to allow me to put in any stream I want that's related to Facebook. So I just wanted to give you a little um, demo about that. So if I click on my Facebook, then what's going to happen is it's going to propagate all those groups that I'm in, and I can just click on one and I can bring in the recent feed and you can see right behind that it's going to add Dave and Aisha's Alicia's Empower Network World. So right here is Empower Network Place, here's Andre Potofsky's Empower Network Community and so on and so forth. So I can add in a whole bunch of streams within my Facebook feed and I can just keep track of what people are posting. Here's my page. I can keep track of what I've posted and all in one place so I don't have to keep switching back and forth. So this is actually a really good tool to just keep track of uh, the things that are going up on these groups. Now, how do we do multiple posts? So right here, I'm just going to start instead of starting over here. Click, it says it right here, click to select a social network. So I'm going to click. Now remember, I'm going by my list of knowing what is allowed to post within each group. So Andy allows you to do blog posts. And since I know that, I'm going to go to another blog and then another blog place that I know. Now if I'm ever not sure, I'm just going to go over to my, to my list and I'm going to try and, you know, and go by the list. So this is real important. I'm just going to do these two. Anyway, you can add a whole bunch of these. If you get confused, you can clear it. You can redo it. Okay? So I'm just going to post to my own uh, page for now, but I just wanted to give you that as a demo. Now over here it says compose message. So I'm going to write my message, create a sustainable income with just blogging. Um, amazing but true, click here for more info. And then over here, I've got my little cheat sheet. Hopefully everybody's got their little cheat sheet for their links. I've got more than one. I have one in Google Drive. I have one on my desktop. And I'm going to add my link right there. Now, we know from being Empower Network people that we cannot be posting direct links to Empower Network. So this is my social media URL for the main opportunity, but I can also shrink it, okay? So now it's even going to be a nice little hourly link, all right? And here's what it's going to look like when I post it, okay? Now if I want to add some stuff, I can go in here and add some good stuff. And I think I can also choose a thumbnail. There we go. Okay, so look at that. It's brought in my social media of our thumbnail. I've got my link, I've got my tagline, the actual link, 
and another tagline that I've added. And I'm going to post this to, I think I'll post it to a couple things. Um, and then I'm going to send it. Now, I also want to show you one more thing, and that is scheduling. This little box right here allows you to set up a schedule for posting. So you can do an auto schedule, or you can just schedule a bunch of posts. And this is a really great tool for people who really want to make sure that you're doing um, you know, work while you're not able to do work. And then you can set up uh, automatic postings to as many networks as you want. Now I'm going to just tell you one really important thing that I actually learned from this Hootsuite uh, tutorial. Facebook does not like it when you post the same things over and over again in the same places. So if you're setting up automatic postings for this, they tell you to only do an, an, a maximum of five of the same posts in the same day. And this is really important because Facebook loves to block people and this is a great way for them to decide that they're going to block you. So uh, hopefully this has been helpful and also wanted to show you one other kind of neat thing about Hootsuite is that you can also bring in your blog feed from your blog right here at the RSS um, ATOM feeds. And I, you can see how I've actually brought in my uh, Creative Financially Sustainable Life with Lisa blog right in here, and I can target it to Facebook, um, which means that I will be able to make posts uh, from my blog, and it will go to Facebook, which is actually a pretty cool little tool as well. Um, there are also some tools for if you really would like more help and more uh, understanding of this program. Hootsuite has this cool little academy that you can enroll in and, uh, and learn. And I'm going to show you one other little secret that I just uh, learned about which is another learning page. Oh, you know what, I'm not going to find it right now, but there's a lot of tutorials out there. If you go to um, YouTube, you can get some really good uh, tutorials on, on Hootsuite. So I hope this has been helpful, and I just want you guys to see also, this is my LinkedIn account, and these are LinkedIn groups that I'm also in. So you can really keep track of all these different groups and what they're posting, and when you get to post something, hopefully it's relevant to the groups that you're posting in. That's really crucial, because you don't want to be posting green, you know, energy stuff in the art group, um, or that kind of thing. So that's uh, helping you kind of keep track of everything and keep it relevant, guys. That's really important, keeping it relevant. Now here is the post that I just created from Hootsuite, and now it's here in the Green Seahorse, and I can do whatever I want with that. It's also in my other page as well. So that is Lisa B. Keeping it real with you guys. I'm going to come back and take... There, hi, I'm back. So hopefully that was helpful, and if you have any questions, please click the link below, get in touch with Lisa, and I will hopefully be able to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much, Lisa. That was wonderful. Great. I'll be re-watching it again and going through the steps because that'll be really <laughs> Yay. All right. We're going to sign off here. Okay. And you all have an awesome day. Yeah.